So we're gonna look at this uh, etcher, which was recommended by a friend. So let's start the download. See the address right here. Go to that. All right. Well, this is what we downloaded. So let's see. See what happens. <coughs> there you go. Take this little block. We'll drag it over. You've probably done this before. Pad. Go ahead, open it up. Close this now. If you have that security issue, you can go to a previous video where I show you how to get around that, and then you can come back. What is this? Um, I was gonna re-download the Ubuntu, but I don't think that's the issue. I think it's the UNet booting. Um, so we're just gonna run with the Ubuntu that we have. So let's find that. Let's do this one. We'll do the older one. We'll see what happens. Just the older. I'm sure it's not that much different, but. There we go. Oh, we have our handy dandy flash drive. Here, I'll shoot a video of that. It's probably a little slow going. Alright, here we are. I don't know what this little piece is. Let me get that out of there. So I've just went into my computer and I put on my version of Ubuntu. I'm hoping when I hit flash, I'm just going to take this new flash drive, which we had to reformat and uh, put on Ubuntu. So we'll try it again on a different flash drive with a different kind of builder or compiler, this etcher. Okay, looks like that worked. Oh, look at this. We're flashing. I'm going to put that on the other screen as well. Alright, good news. We're flashing. You can see the drive's taking in the information. And the program is working well. So, Etcher was recommended by my secret cloud guru friend. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try it. So, I'm have, hoping for a better, more positive experience than uh what we had to go through yesterday so we'll watch it build but as you can see we're moving up we're flashing all right validating okay well, let's hope it validates so now we're validating so we're close to 90 percent validated let's see what happens next I'm hoping we can get this, uh, get everything out of this jump drive so we can try to figure out uh, how to get it onto our server. So this flash complete, successful device. Okay, that's a good thing. I do not want to flash another. We'll just do that. This was the old drive. I don't have an image of it. I guess you can see it here, but. This is on my local drive, so that's not I look like a crazy person. Okay. Let it go. Alright. Let's see if my drive's on the desktop. Alright, so I guess it burned everything I needed to burn onto the well here. We haven't confirmed it, so maybe we should This one. Okay. So I guess it ejected it. 
I'm going to assume everything was burned correctly, but it's not really showing it here. So if you come back and look for you know, approval, you might not find it. Okay, so we have burned Ubuntu Linux onto our USB drive. And now we are taking the 8 gigabyte USB drive off of our MacBook Pro, and we're going to plug it into our... HP DL 360 P Gen 8 um, server. So let's see if we can get this thing to work.